Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, 1-800 Money Addiction. And today I have an amazing news. So first of all, I want to announce that I finally created my um, chat group. So for those of you who is who was interested and who is interested to join me in day trading options every single day from 9 a.m., all the way up to 4 p.m. or you can just leave whenever time that you can actually day trade but anyways I just want to point that out there and if you want to know how you can register you can simply just click down on the link below I'm gonna attach it on this video or you can just go to my video I'm in mean my channels and then go to um, description and then the link is gonna be right down here so with just that, let's dive right in to discussing today's market and um, the, the best, best stock that performed the greatest today is Netflix, okay? And I have traded Netflix. I'm not going to lie. I ended up exiting Netflix. And so the reason one of the reason why netflix is gapping up this bullish is because netflix is going to have earnings next week um when next week when next week tuesday so on the 21st netflix is going to announce earnings and another thing that i want to point out is that netflix have finally broken that pattern that i was pointing out before the two-year pattern that netflix had when it was bouncing up and touching the um 187 190 and then come back down but today it have broken and it made a whole new high and the old previous high was at 394 and today now we have a whole new high of 401 dollars so netflix is only 22 dollars away from breaking all-time highs so as we can see that the bulls are in control of netflix at the moment and so how I jumped in on Netflix, so here's my PL for today. This is how I did. I made $200 today, and I made, of course, $103 on Netflix, and that's only because I gave back $51 in profit to cover my put side. Okay, so I bought one call contract for how much did I buy it? I bought one call contract for $100. And then I ended up selling that same exact call contract for $154. I exited, yes. And uh, was it an early exit? I did exit early. However, I'm, I have not regret why I exited because my whole point is day trading options, okay? Because you never know. I may wake up tomorrow and this thing may not be, the price may not be there. So where was my entry on Netflix? So let's go to 15 minute. So I turn on my computers like around 9.50. And so I saw Netflix was like the only stock that I have a huge volume today. So of course it was it or had already gapped up from 367 all the way up to 383. And this is where I saw Netflix. And then right at this price, the first thing I did, of course, was to buy a put contract, right? And then it pulled back only $3. And I held a put contract. And the, why did I buy a put contract is because that was the resistant when Netflix normally will just bounce and then, and then come back down. And however, also the other reason is because that was 78%. And since Netflix was so bullish today, I actually ended up buying a call contract after it passed um, the highs and ended up buying a $100 call contract. And I rode the ride all the way up to $395. And since knowing that Netflix can only move on a good, good, good day, $20. So it was already up from $367 all the way up to um. 392 so I just exit and I took a profit and then this right here will have to be a pullback and my plan was to get back in with like a cheaper contract so I can hold that overnight because I don't want to just give back profit all right and so of course I bought the contract for $100 and then end up reselling it for 
great profit locked in. And at the same time, Netflix was not the only stock I traded today. I traded NVIDIA. I bought one contract of NVIDIA for $30 and I made $13 in profit on it. And then I exited NVIDIA as well. Why did I exit NVIDIA? NVIDIA have no volume whatsoever. And I did not like the way it was moving. And also, since I trade, okay, so this is where I exited NVIDIA, right around 2 p.m. because there was no volume. And I was not going to hold it overnight regardless. So the um, so I entered NVIDIA at a great pricing right here at the pullback, right? But because there was no volume, it just I was holding it a whole day, which I did not mind at all. However, some like I mentioned, sometimes when you're trading on TD Ameritrade, if you buy a contract at the price that that contract is worth, they're high likely not going to get filled. So I ended up buying um the 415 contract. Where is it? No, not 415. I ended up buying this contract right here, uh, the 290, 295 contract. I bought this contract for $38, like literally at this price right here so that's three two sixty three right and then i ended up exiting right here so that's five dollars whole move however the contract was still selling at um let's go back to trade so as you can see right here the contract is still saying the bid is 27 but the ask is 60. so it is just like no volume it's just moving so slow so therefore i was i i, I feel like i'm more at a risk of losing than holding it on overnight because one I got a bad feel and two that contract when I bought it high likely I should have bought it for five dollars with the prices on TD Ameritrade was just um, expensive and at the same time most of the time when you buy they always just like to fill you in at the ask price because if I put a bad price high likely they're not gonna fill me in but if I go to Robin Hood or, T or um, Weeble you're high likely gonna get filled at a much lower price more than better than that ax price however i'm trading on a cash account because i am growing my small account and which is why i linked the link down below so if you're interested in growing your small account with me and you want to watch me day trade live make sure you check out that link down below and what is the requirement before you join the live chat live chat group so one thing that you need is if you don't have a cash account because when you trade there when you day trading options your money is going to be settled overnight so you don't have to wait for three days so if you use all your funds today you can reuse those funds the next day so that's why i recommend you to have a cash account unless if you have over twenty five thousand dollars where you can day trade on limited time if you don't then i suggest you have a cash account and the other one is like if i'm gonna like recommend the minimum anyone can start that's all up on you but i the minimum that i mostly start is with 700 or thousand dollars to be realistic because then that way i can trade at least two three times a day if i take a hundred dollars if i buy a hundred dollar contract i can trade seven times if i buy a two hundred dollar contract i can take two two three times which is the whole purpose is to just lock in profit and grow your account slowly and that is why i'm just locking in two hundred dollars a day in profit which locking in two hundred dollars a day in profit when you start your account with a thousand dollars you should be very grateful and never try to maximize your profit because i've learned that the hard way and so it's just it's a slow process you accumulate wealth slowly so and the next stock that i traded was of course shopify and with shopify i ended up entering shopify right around here when it broke the high when it was close to breaking the high at the pullback because the whole day not have any volume until 11 a.m and then right it was about to break the higher highs and i entered in and then I rode Shopify until this price here, 449. And then I exit and I locked in $90 profit on Shopify. Uh, $97. This is the PL. And of course, I'm not holding none of this overnight. The only contracts that's still in there 
is SPY because SPY I bought contracts that was supposed to expire today so my plan with SPY was to see if it was gonna like hit at the end of the day if it was gonna go up to a high at 78 I mean 380 but anyways how much did I lose on SPY not a lot I only invested $30 on it and so I'm only losing $27 plus the commission which is 65 cent for each contract and that's five contracts of so five dollars so that's just 30 dollar loss so that kind of minimized my profit a little bit however when you lock in profit it's great and i also traded ttd and with ttd i exited same as um nvidia i have a i had a bad feel and with a contract that was overpriced but far out of the money and so i ended up exiting uh, because I don't want to hold it overnight. So and also I bought the 250 uh, 250 contract call contract and then I bought a put contract which I did not exit on So is TTD. TTD is right here. So TTD have continuously kept on making higher highs However, the biggest move happened after hours because the highest today was 219 and then after hours boom me just bounced up to 227 and of course, this is where, the, where I bought the put contracts. Right around here, 212, I bought a put contract, but the put contract cost $20 or $30, I think. And it rolled right down here to 206. Of course, I did not exit because my mind was shift to Netflix because I was trying to lock in profit on Netflix. However, it does not matter because I hedged it and I bought a call contract right here at 209. And then I held it all the way up to 218. So that's around $10 move. But just because I had in a bad feel, that is why um, my profit was is just uh, six dollars. And also, however, uh, the put contract is oh, how am I up at six dollars put contract? Anyways, so I only locked in one dollar, one dollar profit on, on TTD on the call contract and the put contract. I don't know why that said five dollars in profit, but that is should not be. However, it does not really matter. So on the um the other one that I want to keep an eye on is Zoom ZM ZM has been like the most most talked about company at the moment because everybody is remotely working from home using ZM. So ZM is a great stock to invest in and also when it comes to ZM like literally they already had that pattern way before they had way before they bounced up to 175 where they had the pattern of bouncing at the one 101 and then bouncing up so this time it just dropped all the way down to 108 it did not even came down to 101 and then it just reversed right from there and now it's coming going back up so with ZM, I would not day trade it, honestly speaking, just because sometimes it can move, of course, but sometimes it wouldn't move. So I will, I will only um, invest on ZM in the long term. And also the other one that I do want to mention is that those these contracts have been killing it now. So that's why now um every now and then I will I will I will just throw a twenty dollar contract there in my um trading so i will still feel comfortable buying the 300 dollars contracts but i will not mind throwing in at least a hundred dollars five contracts that cost twenty dollars because if you look at netflix this contract here it opened at 20 20 dollars right for a contract and by the end of the day it was at a high of 350 dollars same exact with last week when we had um ttd when we had the ttd and then I put the and then I put the um if you were to invest a thousand dollars and then you divide that by twenty dollars you're gonna get fifty contracts right and now if you multiply fifty contracts by the high of the contract which is three hundred and thirty five dollars or even if it's just three hundred dollars it's still a huge huge unbelievable return which is sixteen thousand sixteen thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars in return that is sixteen times the one thousand dollars anyone would have invested but I still don't 
trade twenty dollar contract but the other one that i love most was the 295 one so if you go back to trade on netflix no The 295. Okay, so this one right here, this right here, 235. It also have started at. The 235 call contract have literally started at $21 and then it sold at a high of $1,175 within just the same day today. And why is this one, since this one was so close to the money and they both cost the same exact price, which is at around $20, probably because the person, whoever, this other contract right here, have a high implied volatility or bad feel, just like some of my contracts that I traded today. So if you go back to trade, Netflix. So that's that, that's this one right here, the three ninety five, and also because that one's already in the money, and the four oh five. No, we're not four oh five. The four fifteen or four ten contract is still not into the money. That's why that one is still down here at twenty dollars. But how come this one's already sold for twenty dollars and all this other one didn't? So maybe this person ended up having like a better feel. That's why now they just literally profiting. This is like a jackpot. I wouldn't I wouldn't it's like just money made out of thin air so like let's say for instance that one that three or nine three ninety five and now it's selling at a high of one thousand dollars let's just say even though it's eleven thousand so now it's selling at a price of one thousand dollars and we bought each one for twenty dollars and then multiply that by the uh, 50 contracts that we bought I didn't buy it but whoever bought it they're going to they're literally at a whoa fifty thousand dollars holy whoa damn <laughs> i had to say that uh anyways so so yeah so this week netflix is the one that's hitting those twenty dollars contract and last week it was ttd of course and ba has just crashed the whole day today and that dpz which is Domino's Pizza. Domino's Pizza is rallying up like crazy as well. And I did want to trade this one, not for like day trading, but like holding it for the earnings. So they're going to have earnings next week, right? Uh, next week, the 23rd of April. However, look at how overpriced all of their contracts are. So the ones that's at uh, $400, the bid and the ask is just crazy. So this is one thing I don't like about the Metro. It's just like the price fluctuation okay. within the bid and the ask is just unbelievable, you know. Mm -hmm. And that is why you always tend to get a bad feel because you don't want to buy the ask. And the bid is not what the stock is actually selling for the moment. So it's just crazy because you don't have the market price. But anyway, so I, um, let me just round up with this by talking about SPY, which is the stock that track 500 of overall traded stocks so for SPY it literally still is bouncing at that 50% retracement of its overall drop from 339 to one I mean 217 so there's only two what does this mean it means that there's 50% chance SPY can break the 50% right here at 379 and then go up to the high highs or it can get rejected and then come back down to the lower low so there's like a 50 50 50 chances of either direction so it is right at the middle and so this is where i actually ended up buying in the call contracts on sby uh right around this time no not there when he bounced up and then pulled back down and he got rejected at the 23 percent so i ended up buying my call contract the reason why I bought the call contract is because every stock was just bullish today. So Netflix was going up, MBD was going up, Apple is going up. So when every stock is going up, that means SPY is high likely going to go up because it's retracing the movement of all of these stocks that's most traded, which is um 
the S&P 500. So for tomorrow and for the people that's going to be joining in day trading with me, um, I will see you guys tomorrow in my live chat group. And again, if you are interested in day trading with me and growing your small account trading options daily, um, check out, click on the link down below and I will see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. I almost exited my thing.